Hey guys, welcome back to Fix It Philip. Thanks for watching. Today we got a 98 Toyota Tacoma, 2.4 liter four cylinder, manual trans. Uh, the customer states the check engine light is on and that it idles pretty high. So we're gonna hook up the scan tool, the top down Phoenix Smart, see what codes we find, and we'll go from there. Is it Tacoma? Do a smart scan. All right, so you got generic OBD here. P0120 throttle pedal position sensor switch A circuit. This does not have a pedal position circuit, so I'm sure it's referring to uh, the one on the throttle body. It's just cable driven. Nothing on the pedal side. Uh, catalyst system efficiency below threshold. And that's it. Same thing with uh, manufacturer specific. So let's see what's going on with the throttle position sensor code. Let's see, is there any freeze frame? So we got a little bit of freeze frame information here when the, the P0120 set was 186 degrees. There's a run time, engine speed. I don't know if I have anything here that's going to be of any benefit. No, it's pretty, uh, pretty generic. Okay. Well, let's do a... Uh, A sweep of the throttle position sensor. We'll just put it as a graph and uh, we'll see if it's working, if we see any kind of glitches with the signal. All right, let's just go to data stream. We'll look at the uh, throttle position. We have the ignition on right now, engine off. We'll graph it. So right now it's at 14 and a half degrees and I'm just gonna move it manually here slowly see if it falls out anywhere it looks pretty smooth back down up I don't see anything obvious. Let's look up some uh, information on that code, the code set criteria, and we'll go from there. The TP sensor is a variable resistor that monitors throttle opening. The ECM determines vehicle driving condition and it adjusts air fuel mixture accordingly. DT set is set when ECM detects less than one volt or more than 4.9 volts from the VTA circuit for more than five seconds. Possible causes are open or short to throttle position sensor circuit, throttle position sensor, or the ECM. Monitor throttle valve opening percentage. Opening percentage should be approximately 10% with fully closed throttle. Depressed wide open throttle should be approximately 75%. Percentage that are within specs, check out connections, probably may be intermittent. So let's verify the uh, throttle position percentage. Uh, if you push it all the way closed, 12.9, 12.5, which is very close to 10%. Wide open is 78%. So I said approximately 10% fully closed and 75% all the way open so it's very close so that looks okay from what I see now all right here's the wiring diagram here's the throttle position sensor You've got a brown and black wire that's a constant ground you have a yellow wire that's the signal uh, wire going to the engine computer then you have this 5 volt reference wire 
that's being supplied from the computer as well to also uh, other various sensors. So let's turn the ignition on. We'll make sure we have five volts here and ground here. And uh, we'll check out the, uh, the yellow wire, the signal wire going to the computer. Okay, we've got our multimeter here. I got three uh, T pins here, back probe to uh, all three wires. Yellow on the bottom, green and yellow in the middle, and the brown and black on the top. So we'll check the uh, brown and black first, make sure we have a, a ground. We'll put one side here on positive. And this here to the negative. So yeah, we got ground there. There's only 13.4 millivolts of uh, voltage drop if we go from ground to ground. I'm okay with that. And we'll leave this on the ground. Like I said, the ignition is on. The uh, green and yellow wire, which is five volts. And that's good there. And then the signal wire Based on service data, we have, when it's fully closed, 0.3 to 0.8 volts, and wide open throttle, 3.2 to 4.9 volts. Let me just set the range here. So it's fully closed, 0.65. So we're within, we're, we're within spec there. <laughs> Wide open, 3.9. And again, we're within spec there. I did clear out the fault codes because if we catch it in the act, I want to see if uh, the code does come back on. So yeah, no, no DTCs. We'll go back to data stream. We'll just pick a couple here. Definitely got to do a... Uh, Throttle position, let's look up. Mass airflow too. There's those five volt reference uh, signals and the ground are all uh, eventually tied together to the engine computer. We'll see if there's any anomalies with, with that mass airflow while we look at the throttle position. Okay, let's graph it. Okay, mass airflow, just to see if it freaks out there at all, and then throttle position. And if we do a th throttle sweep, it seems to be nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. So let's fire it up and see uh, if, if it acts up at all. So right now at idle, we're sitting at 12.9%. Point six four volts on the signal wire going to the computer from the yellow wire. Let's let it run. Let's see if anything changes. All right, so we're still point six four volts on the uh, signal wire going to the computer from the yellow wire. Mass airflow is at a. Uh, 4.5 grams. Throttle position is still at 12.9. Oh, look, there's a drop right there. Signal wire point. Two six. Let's make sure we got a good five volt reference. If we do, it's still acting up. Yep, 
falling on its face. Let's see. Let's check the ground. Let me make sure I have a good connection here. Oh, we do have a good ground. So our ground is good. Our five volts is good. But the throttle position's all over the place without even pressing the throttle at all. Check for voltage drop on the ground one more time. And it's good. So ground's good. Yep, five volt reference good. Let's go back and see if it set any codes. Yep. There it is, P0120. We're looking like a bad throttle position sensor. We're gonna do one more check. All right, let's do engine off, ignition on. And we're gonna disconnect the throttle position sensor and just jump the five volt reference wire to the signal wire going to the computer let's pull this back up we'll just do throttle position so right now let's graph this unplug we're at zero percent and let's Let's jump the five volt reference with the uh, signal wire and that should jump up to a hundred, which it does. Disconnect, zero, connect, hundred percent. So that tells us our signal wire from, from this point all the way to the computer is good. All right, last, last thing I wanted to check was make sure just 100% we didn't have any uh, loose pin fitment and no corrosion, but it looks very clean. Yeah, these are all tight. All right, so connector's good, pin fitment's good, and the 5-volt reference signal from the computer was good. Ground from the computer is good as well. Uh, we were monitor monitoring the mass airflow sensor at the same time as well uh, to see if there was an issue with the five volt reference dropping out. More than likely we would see an issue with the mass airflow as well since that has a five volt reference signal from the computer as well. Uh, same if it, if it was a ground issue from the uh, computer as well, but we didn't see that. So I'll talk to the customer about replacing that uh, throttle position sensor. I think he just came in for a diagnosis today, um, but it's fairly simple to replace. It's just two Philip um, head bolts here, one here, one on the bottom. When you put the other one on, make sure that uh, you check the voltage with it all the way closed and, and all the way open to make sure that it's within parameters. Some of these uh, throttle position sensors have a little bit of play where you can kind of adjust it one way or another, so make sure you get that dialed in. But thank you very much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. All right, guys, here's some bonus footage. A uh, customer did approve the throttle position sensor. Here's the old one. We got that out already. And here's the new one. It's these uh, little Phillips head screws, one on top, one on the bottom. So, we'll put this in. You put in slightly at an angle right here and you twist it and 
There's one. There's not much of a movement on adjustment wise for these, but we'll uh, we'll make sure that it's within the specs, fully closed voltage wise and wide open throttle as well. A little bit of room to tweak it, but not too much. Okay. Put this hose back. Right here. Okay, let's give it a try. All right, I got the multimeter back probe into the yellow signal wire. We got this pulled up here. The scan tool and throttle position. Right now, we gotta push it closed. New sensors at 0.5453 volts, 10.5%. So. Right there, the specs were between 0.3 and 0.8 volts close, and 3.2 to 4.9 open. So let's do wide open here. Right in the middle of 3.8, 3.81. That looks good to me, so let's fire it up. See how it does. All right, well, we're all warmed up, 190 degrees, about 930, 940-ish on the engine RPMs. Everything else is looking smooth, 3.4, 3.3 grams on the mass airflow. Throttle position is nice and steady. So we're looking good. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.